Welcome back to Good Morning Savannah and this morning our consumer expert Asa Aaron Smith joining us and we are heading into the holiday season. That means parents are buying toys and all kinds of stuff for the kiddos to put under the trees. But you know what? You need to be careful. You need to be very, very careful. And you know, there are all kinds of formulas for, oh, put a monitor here and mm -hmm. do this there. But really, when it comes down to safety, uh, there's no substitute for the watchful eye of an observant, focused parent. Playtime is not only fun, it's also good for your kids, helping them to stretch their minds and muscle. But lurking within many of these toys is a hidden danger, small parts. Probably the chokeable items in the smaller kids. Those are some of the most commonly th common things that we see. Tiny parts a small child can easily digest can often be found mixed in with other toys. Start looking for them before you buy. The packaging, the color, the style, it's all designed to attract your attention to the item on the store shelf. But there are tiny details you need to look for. There are other hidden dangers you can't even see. You want to make sure that they're not made in a place where they could be dangerous, like China particularly, because younger children tend to chew on these and you worry about the paint or the ink on them becoming a problem. These warnings and the new packaging have helped many consumers keep their kids safe. Whatever they are, whatever that was going to be used for, you think about how you're going to apply it to the child that's going to be using the the present. But there are some items that straddle the fence between toy and potential terror. How many of us have bought rubber cement for a school project not knowing it has the explosive power of a can of gas? Mm -mm -mm. Well, you may be thinking, how do I check for a recall before I buy? And actually, it's easy. Bring your phone when you shop mark your browser for recalls at the Consumer Product Safety Commission, which is cpsc.gov or the American Academy of Pediatrics at aap.org and run a recall check right on your phone as you're standing there at the shelf. Also, when it comes to choking hazards, you can buy a regulation choke tube and there are one and an eighth and all these different measurements or you can dig out a roll of toilet paper from the trash. Here's how it works. If an item will fit down here through, through the uh, toilet paper roll, it will also fit through a child's throat. If, however, it's blocked, you have a toy that's workable and, uh, and safe. Uh, also, when it comes to toys, do not buy toys or games with magnets unless you want to spend an evening in the emergency room. Well, as always, if you have missed any of this information, I will send it to you. Just email me here at the station, askasa at wjcl.com. And also, we want to hear about your consumer issues and problems. Seriously, some of those things are really scary, though. Yes. I mean, the pyrotechnics at the end of that story, and not what I expected in a, uh, an art project. Someone explained to me once that even a tiny little bit of rubber cement can be like an exploding gas can. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, now folks, don't forget, we will have all of this posted on our website, wjcl.com, so you can stay safe as you shop for toys this holiday season. Thanks, Asa. Okay.